This issue is, is sort of an outgrowth of our project from uh, from last year. Yeah, the Burger Bunch. We did like so much like basic research. I mean, I don't know how many fifteen yeah, something places like that. we had at, and so we just kept going. Mary went off on her own and kept eating at burgers. She's she's. I don't think she's ever going to eat any more burgers because <laughs> there's 75 now of the best burgers all across Utah. But that was really the Burger Brunch is where we laid the groundwork for this for this article. So, so now in that those additional 60 burgers, did she find burgers that were superior to uh, to the ones we we tried as part of the burger? Well, the brunch? one on the cover, the the Coney's one, um, is one that that she thinks is a, is an excellent, fantastic. Burger. Burger, but she's still that that high west high mountain high mountain high west is the distillery not yes. the burger joint high mountain drug and camas uh, is still her 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 favorite favorite's favorite but but the thing about this article is we did um, we kind of divided into categories that came out of the ways we used to talk about burgers mm -hmm. like stunt burgers or mm -hmm. like there's a burger down in Sandy where they serve it between two grilled cheese sandwiches as the buns basically <laughs> it's called the hog burger you yeah, know yeah I, I so, think you would have to be one in order to <laughs> to eat one of those right and uh, and things like that so stunt burgers garlic burgers we we sort of like really distilled the classic burgers mm -hmm. the 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 chef burger which mm -hmm. is when we were in the burger bunch you remember we'd have this debate about like the burger up at Steins you know, with its heirloom tomatoes and aioli and blah, blah, blah. Right. Is it really a fair comparison to look at, uh, you know, an $18 burger compared to, you know, the, you know, the little mom and pop shop right. that's doing a, a, a Two dollar burger. Right, exactly, and so yeah. We're actually going to take a look at the uh, Steins Burger Bunch uh, piece uh, coming up uh, after 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 you oh, and good. I are finished. Good, so. good, 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 <laughs> good. So yeah, so the burger article, and you know, we have a lot of fun. We also did an onion ring taste test. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Mary is a big fan of onion rings. Always disappointed in the onion ring onion ring she finds. So she went around the state trying to find. So she she's found a some, glutton for, for yeah punishment. for punishment, but she found you know her top picks, and we kind of rank them you know in terms of like the the batter and the size and all that sort of stuff. So it's the Onion Ring Showdown is a, mm -hmm. is a side note to did this Did you get article. to jump in on uh, on that tasting as I, well? I, I didn't get in on the Onion Rings, but I did have quite a few burgers with Mary. Just It seems like we'd go out for lunch meeting or something, and we'd had to go to some place that had a burger. So I ended up continuing to eat a lot of burgers. So but you've had uh, more than your share Yeah, I, I, you know, I'm, 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 I feel very qualified about my burger expertise in the city of Utah. We need to switch it up and do something else. So. Uh, vegan taste testing Vegan taste something? testing, something yeah. Like so, something on the whole other chicken maybe yeah. I don't know yeah well speaking so, of chicken uh, you know, that leads us perfectly into you know another article that uh, that you guys are featuring in the magazine this month a look at chicken yeah yeah um, well this is the this is the difference between organic chicken and you know sort of factory you know big big outfit Tyson kind of chicken and um, you know we make the point in here is that you know you go down to the farmers market and here's the nice lady with her recycled bag and all that and she goes up to the organic chicken thing and he says how much is it a pound and he's like 4.99 and she's like oh no I can get it at Walmart for a dollar 99 a pound and mm. so we try to explain why uh, the chicken at Walmart while it's cheap is not necessarily better and so to that end Mary and our our, our art director cooked up two chickens and had a had people in you know a, just two roast chickens had people in had a taste test. Um, we've got photography of both of them, some great chicken recipes that Mary has simplified, you know, because, you know, cooking a roast chicken and stuff can be intimidating for people, but really? she's simplified it's it really down to, to, to just make it easy for everybody, so. Well, uh, I do know that I uh, did uh, did burn a little bit of my, my roast chicken that I was making the other day on the grill, but that's more a function of my, my grill than, <laughs> uh, than I hope my, my cooking right. skills. But, I mean, yeah. it, again, this is another example. I mean, just we're, we're finding, you know, just in this last week, you know, what is it, uh, 40 million eggs being being recalled, uh, yeah. you know, for, for salmonella, you know, because, and, you know, the fact that 40 million eggs could come from two egg producers uh, <laughs> in, in Iowa really yeah. just opens your eyes to the, the size and scale of some of these commercial uh, enterprises. Yeah, one of the reasons we wanted to do this article, and, and we've been doing things like this, is that, you know, we feel like our readers and people in Utah and just the food education has come a long way. People are more interested in knowing where their food comes from. So we want to kind of continue that and, and uh, show them, direct them to great producers, local producers, and kind of explain why it's okay to pay a little more for your chicken and what you're going to get for that. Mm -hmm. So, And, uh, you know, with more people doing urban 
chicken farming, yeah. uh, you know, eventually they, you know, may may want to switch from <laughs> just the egg to the chicken to itself. To the chicken right. itself. Although at least in Salt Lake, you can't you cannot slaughter your own chicken. So they no, you have to bring them out. somewhere. I don't know how they're going to solve that problem. Yeah. Really. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, all right. Good. Good Something to know. Something to cover later. Yeah. So. All right. Now, uh, from uh, people who may raise chickens in in the great outdoors to getting out into the great outdoors, you go a little further afield uh, beyond the borders of Utah. Yeah, and um, not that far. Mm -hmm. You know, we're we're a state magazine, but um, Fruta, Colorado, which is just it's almost equidistant Salt Lake to Moab. So instead of going getting off 70 and going to Moab, you you keep on 70 and show up uh, near Grand Junction, just past Grand Junction. Um, so it's about the same distance from Moab to Salt Lake, and it's this mountain biking mecca. About 16 years ago. Uh, some just real dedicated trail builder types got down and uh, just started building trails and have really created a, a trail system, very organized. It's a small, nice town. They welcome mountain bikers. And and it's, I you know, our writer found it was a, a change of pace from Moab. You know, Moab, you know, it's pretty overrun, and this was, was very solitary and, and kind of undiscovered still. So it's Moab before Moab was Moab. Right, right. And it, it, it doesn't have some of the same slick rock terrain. You know, I mean, it's a little more kind of high desert mesas and things like that. But I, I, I went down to a nearby town, Palisade, Colorado, earlier this summer, and, and it's beautiful down there. I mean, beautiful. So. And uh, is the vibe different? I mean, because you're actually in Colorado and then you get you know the sort of Colorado uh, sort of sort of feel and uh, Colorado rules and rules and laws well there's rules and laws yeah I mean certainly I'm sure it's I'm sure it's you can get you know beer is easy, easy there but I think what our writer found was just um, this sort of feeling like it was it was undiscovered territory and it was not she you know I mean the guy at the bike shop you know, this is how fr friendly they are. Is, is you know, offered to let her pitch a tent in the backyard, his backyard. You know, it's still it's still a small town. You know, whereas Moab, the the locals in Moab seem a little, they can be a little surly. You know, because mm -hmm. they're they're kind of you know under siege all summer long and yeah, stuff like, like that. Sort of like the Park so. City uh, people. Right, exactly. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, somewhat. You know, by by the end of the winter, uh, Park City people right. tend to get a, start getting a little yeah, grumpy with the visit. The hazards of living in a tourist town, you know, but uh, but uh, so so yeah, I'm, we're really excited. To to share this with our readers, and we've got, uh, you know, you know, advanced to beginner trails, little kind of how-to stuff, you know, where to go, where to stay, and all that sort of deal. Okay. So now you mentioned, uh, you know, the writers, and you mentioned uh, Mary Maloof's uh, work on both the burgers and uh, the chicken stuff. A great way for people to to get introduced or uh, keep up with what your writers are doing is by checking in with them online. Oh yeah, yeah. SaltLakeMagazine.com. Mary's blog is our most popular blog. I mean, she, everywhere she goes, every bite she puts in her mouth, she's talking about and, and uh, she can, and and I will say she's a little less uh, filtered on the website so you really do get some straight she, shots she can definitely uh, let it fly when <laughs> uh, when she finds something she is unhappy with she is right, not right. afraid to to share that information absolutely absolutely now of course you're in this issue now Ori you know this right I, I am <laughs> I, I had I had no idea Jeremy all, all, uh, of, <laughs> all the all of the re, all of the viewers out there need to turn to the Park City Life section of this issue and there he is, Ori Hoffer. Yep. Yep. He's hey, right here good. in this studio. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it was a real, it was a real honor that you guys uh, came, came in and talked I, to me. I and felt that I was, that I was a significant amount enough Park City figure. Well, Ori, you're everywhere. I mean, I, every time I'm at anything, there's Ori, there's Ori, there's Ori. Yeah. So, you know, that's definitely. Well, it's a small criteria. station. I kind of have to be everywhere <laughs> when, when, when I can. But the, so, you, you know, the Park City life is, uh, you know, just a way to, you know, really focus on, you know, put a put a focus on on this part of town, which is a big part of your readership absolutely and we um we we spend a lot of time focusing on people in that section you know i mean um we do have some outdoors tips and stuff like that but we think there's a lot of interesting people who have chosen to relocate here or have grown up here or whatever it's kind of an i mean as you know it's an interesting mix of folks who have kind of flock together from all over the world in many cases because of the mountain lifestyle, the exercise, you know, the, the kind of fitness level of everybody, and then, of course, access to the skiing and things like that. So. You know, and I should say, I do feel honored to be uh, put in that mix with uh, Charlie Sachs from the Park City Day School <laughs> and uh, Daisy Fair from Copy, Cop, Copper Moose and uh, Justin from uh, Spiro Arts. Uh, all three, uh, I, I all three have been on this show, uh, <laughs> have, been, have been here on this couch. So. Well, we're running out of people. 
little Ori, so yeah. we had to just. Are you taking applications for, <laughs> for interesting Actually, individuals? Actually, people want to suggest people around town. It's true. You know, I mean, you know, you, 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 you we're not up here all the time, and so it's, you know, let me know. Editor at saltlakemagazine.com. Easy enough to find. All right, so, so uh, it does hit uh, newsstands. Uh, any this, day, any pretty day much, this, you know, subscribers have got their copy, and any day it'll be on uh, on newsstands up here at Fresh Market and uh, around town. 